Christchurch's adventure park for mountain bikers is promising to rise from the ashes and reopen this summer. The $20 million network of trails complete with a chairlift, flying foxes and a cafe had to be closed just eight weeks after opening after that Port Hills fire swept through the area. In fact, multiple fires. The park was wildly popular with locals and represented a beacon of hope for the city as one of the first big developments to open post the earthquake. The park's operations manager, Mike Johnson, told Con and Young they were down but not out. We're focusing on the lift and the zip lines. So the lift line is being repaired. The new haul rope is here. So we'll let Doppelmeyer get on with their task of recertifying the lift for us. The zip lines are something else we're working hard on. Uh, we're just waiting for stuff to come along. We're working on towers, working on the sites. So that's going along nicely. And then on the trails, uh, it's kind of a start stop situation with the logging going on we're working around the loggers they're working well with us um, but there's a lot of work to do so uh, we're, we will have trails we're just not sure what they'll look like just yet what's the importance for you guys of actually trying to get open by summer at least summertime is the busiest period it, we were open last summer we had an awesome time so definitely want to be open again for this summer and look bit of a roller coaster, to put it mildly, a roller coaster ride for you guys. You were open eight weeks, it was just a storming success, wasn't it? And then to have the fire happen and now you're, you're trying to rebuild, I mean, how do you keep the energy levels up? Just keep looking forward. There's a job to do, just keep moving forward. We want the park back and that's what we're going to just focus on. And as well as um, getting in some of that new equipment, you're starting to um, advertise for positions and things like that? Yeah, there's a couple of job postings. As we get closer and we have a better idea of who we're going to need, we'll start posting for those jobs. And uh, for people out there, you know, keen mountain bikers, people who sort of maybe even had given it a go for the first time with, with this park coming along, um, you know, who are looking forward to this happening, I mean, what can you say to them about, you know, how confident you are getting open by summer? We'll be back. <laughs> the extent of the damage to the village, it's pretty minimal, isn't it? Yeah, the, the fire didn't actually affect the village, so the village is still standing the way it was before. It'll open, you won't even notice that there was a fire in the area. If all you look at the village is that, if sorry, if you're just looking at the village from the right angle, you won't know there was a fire here. Wow, extraordinary. And so that was obviously, there was a lot of work went on to try and protect the village at the time. That and, yeah, we were lucky. There's a, they put the fire breaks in to protect it and uh, the crews did an amazing job. They, uh, the, when the fires were coming through, the fire department kind of staged themselves in the right spots and did an awesome job keeping it away from the village. And um, for, if you just managed to hold on to a few of your workers, haven't you? How many have you still got here? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. We're sitting at probably about 30. Um, right after the fire, uh, you know, we had to do those layoffs, but we've held on to about 30 of the crew, and they're working hard. And so, um, what sort of do you have to do? Some team talks, get a bit of pep talk after these fires to try and get people, um, you know, motivated to try and go through all of this again. I mean, you know, we do have our talks, but as a team, they're a really tight knit group. They all believe in the park. They all want to see the park back. So they're very self motivated. That's the parks operations manager Mike Johnson talking to our excellent Christchurch reporter Conan Young.